the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 28, Exodus 28 to 29. Slaves who became the treasures of heaven. God told Aaron and his sons to make a holy garments and put them on, and also told them the order of ordination ceremony of priests. First point, God appoints Aaron as the first high priest. After the bilateral covenant between God and the Israel nation, God calls Moses to make an important announcement. This was to appoint Aaron and his sons to serve as high priests in the tabernacle. During the process of Exodus, Aaron had acted as the spokesperson. But now, God appointed Aaron as the first ever high priest, and his descendants were to continue this law. What started here became the framework for the next 1,500 years. This was until Jesus shouted, It is finished on the cross. Jesus was the final high priest who at the same time was the offering lamb. Second point, Aaron's sacred garments were for him to wear during difficult tasks. Aaron's sacred garments were designed by God, and there were six special points about it. The first was the breast piece, which was to have gold, blue, purple, and scarlet yarn and finely twisted linen. The second was the ephod. The third was the robe, which was to be made of blue cross and worn inside the ephod. The fourth was the woven tunic. The fifth was the turban, and the sixth was shashi. God's design for the sacred garments was indeed detailed. But these garments were not to make a fashion statement. It was in order to do the tasks involved in learning a kingdom of priestess. Third point, to the Israel nation who were slaves in Egypt, God makes them heaven's treasures. The Israel nation were formerly slaves in Egypt. In these times, the division between king, royals, nobles, everyday people, and the slaves was extreme. But God made the Israel nation, who had experienced the life as slaves, into heaven's treasures. God made the high priest engrave the names of the sons of Israel on the twelve stones. This also represented how the high priest was to exist for these people and to mediate between them and God. Fourth point. The people were to receive forgiveness from God by reaching out to the high priest. As we will learn in Leviticus, the Israel nation was to receive help from the high priest in practicing the burnt offering, the grain offering, the fellowship offering, the sin offering, and the guilt offering. These offerings were made so that the people could come seek forgiveness from God. Fifth point, a kingdom of priests is to operate on the basis of the five offerings. God commands the Israel nation to practice the five offerings in a kingdom of priests by keeping three rules. The first rule is to go to the place where God chose to put his name for his dwelling. The second rule is to receive the assistance of the priest. The third rule is to come with an offering. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. 
Dr. Biyango Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.